organic learning. Today we are going to be going over all these super cool buses. Wow! Now today we're going to give a special shout out to Brandon in Raleigh, Massachusetts. He's four years old. He loves classic muscle cars, monster trucks, and hanging out with his Grammy. That's awesome, Brandon. Alright you guys, let's jump right in. Let's do it. Alright you guys, let's do our first bus of the day. And this one is great. This is a city bus. <gasps> but look who it is. Ba -ba 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 you guys, it's Tayo from Tayo, the Little Bus TV series. How you doing, Tayo? Oh, I'm doing real good. Oh, thanks for stopping by, my friend. Now, Tayo here, he is fun, he is playful, and at times, he's even a little mischievous. Oh, Tayo. Now, Tayo is a classic city bus. The doors open here on the side. You can see one here and one here. And you just go ahead and get on and you pick any row of seat that's available. Now sometimes if the bus is really crowded, you may have to stand up and actually hold on to one of the handles or one of the poles. But just be careful because sometimes Tayo has to make sudden stops, you guys. So be careful if you're standing up. Now, these buses are great because they go just about everywhere. So you can take them to work. You can take them shopping. You can even take them to go visit and play with your friends. Now, I love the light blue coloring, 120 on the side there, and of course, Tayo's adorable face. <laughs> Great stuff, you guys, and this is a city bus. Wow, check out bus number two. I mean, this thing is magnificent. This is a double-decker bus. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it's... It's even fun to say Double Decker Bus. I mean, you can put it in a song. A double Decker Bus, a Double Decker Bus, yeah. All right, I'll stop, I'll stop. Now, I'll tell you what, like a regular bus, it's got this, you know, kind of regular level of seats here, you know, rows where people can sit, fewer people can stand. But unlike a regular bus, it's got an entire second level. You take a little spiral staircase right up to the top and you feel literally like you are standing on top of the world. You get a great vantage point of whatever city or town you're driving through, which is often why these are used as sightseeing buses. I mean, these things are great. And of course, these became very famous in the city of London, England, where a lot of du double-decker buses can be seen all the time, you guys. Now, this one is very cute. It says Pet World. But check it out. It's got a couple of cute pets there on the side. And oh my goodness, more on the top. We got a parrot, a dog. A cat, a bunny, and a cute little mouse. I love it, you guys. This is a double-decker bus. All right, you guys, question. Do you remember a long, long time ago when I went over that double-decker bus? And what I mean long time ago, I mean about five seconds ago. <laughs> well, this just takes it up even one notch higher because this is a triple-decker bus. What is happening here? Now, this is actually the night bus from the Harry Potter movie series. I mean, this is incredible. Now, like I said, we covered the double-decker bus. That was pretty awesome. But this has an unbelievable third level of seats, all right? Now, this night bus drives very, very fast. It can actually jump over obstacles. I know, you gotta see that in action to believe it. Now, it's used for transporting wizards, and witches, and much like a taxi, all you have to do to get the attention is kind of put your hand out like this, hey, over here, and it'll go, Arr! and you just hop right on. And check this out on the side, all destinations. Oh, but you guys, nothing underwater. Okay, please, be considerate. But look at the front here, the night bus. Now, the best part, the, my favorite feature about this, they actually serve hot chocolate on the old night bus. That is awesome, you guys, and this, is a triple-decker bus. Whoa! Wow! This one is awesome, you guys. This thing is totally famous. This is a Greyhound bus. Yeah, check it out. I mean, this is probably the most iconic bus there is in the United States, you guys. Now, these Greyhounds, they're great because they can travel all over the country and they're just great for seeing amazing places. 
Now what you do is you just, there's a door that opens up, the driver will open up the door and you find your seat in any one of these rows right here. Now these doors underneath open up and that's where you store your luggage. Now sometimes you'll drive for a long, long time so these Greyhounds even come with a restroom right there in the back. That's pretty cool stuff. They have the very iconic coloring here, the blue with the red and kind of the cream or white color. Check out Greyhound on the side. There's even a picture of a Greyhound and look at that, a Mara Cruiser. Now these Greyhounds are so famous that rock and roll bands and artists over the years have actually used these in the lyrics of their songs. Maybe, you know, a couple of people met on a Greyhound or, you know, the kid who grew up in the country is going to the big city and he took a Greyhound to get there, you guys. This is great stuff and this is a Greyhound bus. My goodness, wow we This, you guys, is incredible. All right, you guys know what a monster truck is, right? You know what a school bus is, right? Well, this is a monster school bus. Whoa, I mean, this thing is awesome. Where were these when I was a kid? I mean, I wanna drive in one of these right now. I mean, look at this thing. Can you imagine taking this to school? First of all, you need a giant ladder just to get up into it. And then once you're in it, I mean, I hope the driver knows what he or she is doing because you gotta be careful. You don't wanna run over other cars and stuff. I mean, look at these crazy shocks and suspension. I mean, this bus driver knew what they were doing. They got it all chromed out, the crazy big tires. I mean, we got some cool logos there on the side. Oh, I see, the District of Higher Education. I get it, because you're so high up. Very clever, you guys, very clever. That's awesome stuff. You imagine taking a field trip in this? I mean, you could just park wherever you wanted. I think we're gonna park here on the side of the hill. <laughs> oh, wow. You go through some water on this. I mean, this thing just looks like a ton of fun, you guys. I don't know, maybe one day, maybe if it's in the school budget, you'll be able to ride on a monster school bus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Check out this next one. I think I've got some explaining to do. <laughs> this is a lion bus. That was my lion impression. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. So you guys, have you ever been to a wild animal park before? I mean, those places are pretty cool. Well, if you have, this is kind of like the bus that you would actually ride around in. So what you do is you actually sit here, and as you can see, the two rows of seats face outward. And what's really cool is as you slowly drive through the animal park, which sometimes are just huge, you'll have the opportunity to observe and experience the animals in their natural habitat. And that's really, really great. And what's great too is with all these windows and these bars here, you can take some phenomenal pictures. You know, so you got lions, of course, maybe you have some cheetahs, Maybe there's some gazelles, I don't know. Who knows what's out there? But definitely some great photo opportunities. Now, I just love the way this thing's designed. You got the mouth right here with the teeth. You got the cute old nose. And you got the two little lion eyes right there on the windshield. Couple of ears. I mean, they didn't miss a trick with this thing, you guys. I hope you get to experience a lion bus and a wild animal park because that's a lot of fun, you guys. This, oh yeah, is a lion bus. Okay, you guys, this next one is fun, and we've got a little surprise for you. This is an open top bus. Now, it's got the same basic design as the double decker bus, but the main difference being the second level, boom! There is no roof, you guys. Check that out. It's kind of like a giant convertible. I mean, that is great fun. Now, these are really good for you know, touring around and sightseeing, especially in the summertime when you have great weather. Now, speaking of the summer, as you can see here on the side, it says, O oh, Sola Mio, which is Italian for my sunshine. But what you would actually do is sing it kind of like this. Oh, Sola Mio. Okay, okay, I'll stop. I'm sorry about that. I couldn't help myself. Now, these are great for touring around in the city. You can see all the great architecture or even a country or small town tour. At nighttime maybe, when you're finishing up your tour, 
you just look straight up and you see all the beautiful stars in the sky, you guys. That is great fun. And this is an open top bus. A sol mio! Whoa, you guys, check out this next bus. I mean, this thing is pretty wild. I'm gonna explain what's going on here. This is a kindergarten bus. That's right. Now this is really interesting because what they do is they actually dress up a regular bus to look like something else, or in this case, a train. I mean, this is really, really neat. I mean, wouldn't you guys love to go to school in one of these? I mean, it's just so great for the kids. It makes them comfortable, makes them excited to go to school, and that's what it's all about, because school, you guys, is a ton of fun. Now, like I said, this particular one is meant to look like a train, and they did a great job. They got that classic red train coloring. On the side here, they got a couple of faux <laughs> train wheels. I mean, that's very authentic. Even in the back here, they got the cab where the conductor would sit and operate the train, you guys. I mean, that is so neat. What's cool is they also have ones that look like different characters. They got Thomas the Train, Hello Kitty, Pokemon, and many more, you guys. I mean, how fun would that be to go to school in a Pokemon? It'd be a lot of fun. This is awesome, and this is a kindergarten bus. Whoa, gang! All right, last one of the day, and it is a beauty. Hello. <laughs> this is a VW Samba bus. <laughs> now, this style of bus is unique to Volkswagen, and its standout characteristics, as you can see, were all of these windows. I mean, look at all these. You guys, guess what? 23 total. I mean, it's kind of like a school bus in that sense. Now, they also call this the Sunroof Deluxe, and for good reason. Pow! Check it out. That is a massive sunroof. It's almost the entire length of the roof, you guys. Lots of sun coming in there and lots of good times for sure. Now, they don't make these anymore, but way back they started them actually in 1951 and they became really popular in the 60s and the 70s and were actually known for transporting hippies. That's right. Peace, dude. <laughs> Very cool stuff. In fact, you would definitely have seen a lot of these at Woodstock. This is so much fun, you guys. I love it. And check out the iconic Volkswagen logo right there in front. This is a VW Samba Bus. Whoa, you guys, we had an awesome time going over all these amazing and fun buses. If you'd like a special shout out like Brandon, be sure to write in or send us a drawing of your favorite vehicle. All the information is in the description box below along with links to our Twitter and Instagram pages. So much fun and we will see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a fun comment below. Thanks, everybody.